Hey, what's going on with it, ladies and gentlemen? Ponies and gents, calls this is the one, the only criticism guide 2009, aka Nintendo Fruit 2011. Now, before I begin, real quick, just want to give a real quick shout out, real good friend of mine off of YouTube. He actually lives out here in the 702 in Vegas as well. Um, shout out to Mr. 3TR Topper for viewer. Like I always give him a real cool ass shout out. He's an awesome, very very amazing um, movie movie reviewer and video game reviewer as well. Definitely check his shit out. Very awesome guy, you know. His reviews are very, very, very well, um, well put together. Definitely check him out. He does a lot more better on his, um, <laughs> on his reviews than I do, and he has a lot more money than I do when he does the movie reviews as well and uh, video game reviews. I don't have that much cash for that shit. For movies, I do, but not for um, video games right now. Not now at the moment, but maybe later on at the end of this year, I might have a little bit more. But we'll see what happens. So, uh, you guys probably can't see that very well. So, um, just in case you're wondering what it is. Hopefully I'd rather tell you the above and below. Um, Superman Returns Trailer 3 Review. I've been wanting to talk about this for about a good week already, but uh, unfortunately I didn't have enough time to talk about it, but let me give you a bit better picture of it because that picture is crap. Give me on that part. I was not thinking. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, hopefully you see that one a little bit better. If not, um, I tried to change the brightness revolution th resolution to this. I'm still trying to learn how to use this webcam thing. It's not the best quality in the world, but it'll do, you know? Matter of fact, uh, see if I turn the, like, the TV off, not the TV off, the light off, you won't be able to see me as well. So, uh, yeah, besides all that, you know, basically, um, <laughs> let's begin. Enough rambling. So, uh, yeah, basically the whole re movie review, not movie review, <laughs> trailer review actually ends up starting off with, um, very professional, very well detailed, very, very, um, intellectual actor, Mr. Um, Russell Crowe. Last movie I know he did last year was um, Man with the Iron Fist. He was one of the side characters, more like a supporting role character. Um, he wasn't too big, but you know, he was all right. He was decent on that. And he did like another movie earlier, like um, last year. At the, actually, no, at the end of last year, which was with Mark Wahlberg. Very amazing actor for sure. It was with, um, I forgot what it was called, a lot of corruption of Wall Street and the government and shit like that. You know, basically conspiracy theory stuff, that, the shit that I'm into. Looks like a badass movie. Unfortunately, I never got to see it last year in December because um, I had to do a lot of overtime at work that year, unfortunately. So I didn't get a chance to see it in theaters. Maybe in Blu-ray. If it's already out by now, we'll see. But yeah, basically Superman Returns is about him narrating the whole um, scenario of what's going to happen in Superman's life and everything. And unfortunately what happens is, is that um, the planet Krypton ends up exploding into a million pieces. We don't get to see it because, you know, I guess it was going to be too gruesome or graphic. And by the way, the same ones that did the music for The Dark Knight Returns, they're actually going to be doing it again. Christopher Nolan, a.k.a. the Nolan Brothers, they're going to be doing that whole um, directing and producing of the whole movie. All the instrumental sounds. I cannot wait for the, for the amazing um, music I'm going to be able to hear in the background because that's what makes the movie, besides all the graphics and the CGI and everything, what have you. So, uh, yeah, basically, in a nutshell, Superman 3 Returns, you know, trailer, excuse me, trailer 3. Um, in a nutshell, it's pretty bad fucking ass. Um, the only other two things I will say about it, the only um, small criticism, I will get it, no pun intended on my username, but um, I wish they really would have went with Liam Nielsen, because I know Liam Neeson, um, he was supposed to be the original father for Superman 3. Really wish they would have went with him instead of um, Russell Crowe's, because Russell Crowe usually makes a lot of little girly movies most of the time for romance chicks kind of thing. That's one of the main reasons he's not one of my favorite actors. He's a decent, okay actor. He's not the best to me. Maybe to everyone else, but not to me. I'm sorry. That's got different tastes. So, uh, yeah. Well, Liam Nielsen, he just straight out delivers when he does his movies. He might be 56 years old, but he still knows how to kick fucking ass for almost a 60-year-old dude, you know? He's, go he's up there where Bruce Willis, Professor Stallone, um, who else? Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, one of the real old school, old school, um, old guys, you know, that still know how to kick ass. Even way over their golden age. It's just fucking crazy as hell. But you know what? It's Hollywood for you, you know? There's that. And another little harsh criticism I would give it to is that um, the other picture that I showed you guys before, you couldn't see it that well. I think those are one of um, Superman's arch rivals or arch nemesis. The one where he throws the S over his chest and um, casts him into a different dimension like the old school Superman's back in the 70s, 80s, 90s. You know, real good shit, you know? And uh, all the good stuff, um, without further ado on that, let's get to the good stuff that I liked about this trailer. The CGI, of course, is, looks amazing as always. Um, another thing I'm hoping that they do bring out after the movie releases is um, a PS3 360 um, platform game to it. 
Hopefully it's not MMO, because I really don't see this being an MMORPG game rating, because, um, I don't know, maybe with real big games like, you know, League of Legends, World of Warcraft, The Sims, you know, those can be MMOs, but I really don't see that for Earth. Superman. I mean, if it does end up being an MMORPG, it's probably going to be like um, Injustice of the Gods, which is supposed to be coming out, I think, next month or so. I might not be getting it. I'll probably rent it on Gamefly or something. That or, um, what's it called? The other one I'm trying to think of. That one that came out last year, Arkham City. Arkham City Imposters. If it ends up being like that, it's probably going to be not worth shit. It's not coming. That shit for me, it's like not a dime will be spent in this wallet. I guarantee you that. I'm sorry. But if it's just a good average RPG game, you know, maybe a two, four player mode thing, you know, bring like bring the classes back, you know? Then I'll probably spend a little bit of money on it instead of just renting it, you know? But, uh, yeah, overall review, I'll probably have to give this maybe an 8, 9 out of 10, I guess, for the trailer review. You know, um, looking, um, looking forward to all the badass fucking music and a lot of the orchestra, orchestral um, instruments that um, the Nolan Brothers are going to be producing. It, and they actually got the same um, script writers that made 300 and Watchmen, which I did see 300, but I never got a chance to see Watchmen. If any of you guys have ever seen Watchmen before, you can definitely leave me spoiler alerts as much as I can. I actually welcome spoiler alerts. A lot of people don't like them, just as much as anime and manga, they don't like fillers, or like TV series when they hate commercials and shit like that, you know. I'm actually one of those people that actually like, um, <clears throat> spoiler alerts and fillers for anime and manga, you know. But, uh, yeah, I know the last time I did an anime manga review was with that Naruto Road to Ninja, I only got like 10 views on it, but you know what? Best 10 people in the world, you guys are awesome as hell for taking, um, time out of your day to watch me rant and review about these movie reviews, trailer reviews, game reviews, anime reviews, and, um, Rants, even alternative media shit when I do that, you know? Which I will be doing another one after this. I'm going to be talking about that whole pressure cooker thing that was supposedly supposed to explode that whole Boston Marathon bombing. Unfortunately, it did hurt a couple people, but I'm going to get to that in my next video. But for now, for Superman, you know, um, they picked a decent actor. I'm not sure what the actor's name is that's playing Superman or Lois Lane. The girl that's playing Lois Lane kind of looks like that girl Rachel, the one that did in Dark Knight, the one that ends up dying in that explosion. And that dude, Harvey Dent, which is played by um, Eric Elkerich. I can never say that dude's name right, his last name right, for the life of me. You know, the one where um, Heath Ledger, rest in peace to him, ends up blowing it half his face to hell, which um, Batman puts it in those terms. Very kick-ass shit, I will say that myself, you know. That's cool that if they did bring her back as um, Lois Lane, I don't know what that girl is, I think her name was Katie Holmes, yeah. They brought her back as Lois Lane, very awesome shit, you know. She did a good-ass job playing um, Rachel and Batman and Batman Batman Begins and The Dark Knight before The Dark Knight Rises came out. And uh, yeah, other than that, that's all I got to say about this review. I'm going to be closing the video like this. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And like I always say, is what it is, ain't what it ain't. See you when I see you. I'm gone. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Have a good day. Have a good night wherever you're at around the world. Um, peace out, laters. And like I always say, um, don't drink and drive. Smoke weed on at the same time. Very terrible habit. It can kill you. And um, yeah, I'll stay safe. I'll see you soon, and uh, goodbye, YouTube. And um, one more real quick thing before I do end this video. If any of you guys have seen the movie Oblivion, which shout out to Blaze the Movie Fan. He's this dude from, I think, Austria, Yugoslavia. I think he's from Europe somewhere. He has a super thick accent, but he's still a cool-ass guy. He's on my Nintendo Free 2011 channel if you want to check him out over there as well. I'm subbed to both of them on both of my channels, so um, definitely check him out. He's on my favorites, so if you want to check that out. Tell him I sent you there. He's an awesome ass dude. He does a lot of Family Guy reviews, Simpson reviews, a lot of animation reviews, Pokemon reviews. He does a little bit of um, Let's Plays here and there. And then he does really good, good ass rants. He's very funny rants. Very funny comedic dude. So definitely check him out. Later, YouTube. Goodbye. And uh, I will see you all soon. All right. Later. Happy Saturday. And uh, you guys take it easy. All right. Late. I'm gone. Alright, take it easy guys, later. <laughs> Sorry about that ending. <laughs>